My name is Bruce. I've been working bar for almost 40 years now. In that time, I've learned a trick or two that I'd like to pass on to you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We've got a lot of ground to cover. We'll look at some of the forgotten classics and some unusual new tasty creations right for any occasion. Cheers. Happy Canada Day, everyone. The year was 1867 when Canada became a nation. Though much smaller back then, it included only four provinces, Ontario, Quebec, uh, New Brunswick, and Nova Scotia. The rest of Canada's provinces and territories joined Confederation at later dates. It was 1967 when Canada celebrated the 100th anniversary of Canadian Confederation. And I was there. <laughs> it was awesome, let me tell you. Celebrations were grand and occurred throughout the year, but culminated on what was called Dominion Day on July 1st. It wasn't until 1983, July 1st officially became known as Canada Day, like the American Independence Day on July 4th. I remember the highlight of Canada's centennial celebrations in 67 was the Universal and International Exhibition, Expo. I was a young boy when my parents packed up us kids in Dad's brand new Chrysler Newport. <laughs> it was a bright, shiny yellow convertible, uh, perfect for making the trek to Montreal and Expo 67. It was a trip of a lifetime, camping out, touring the pavilions, eating fairground food and buying souvenirs. My older brother's fondest souvenir was a rubber shrunken head that he bought and proudly attached to his belt. I'm not sure what it had to do with Confederation, but uh, it looked pretty cool. The Canadian Pavilion was pretty cool too. It was a giant size inverted pyramid called Katamivik, which is the Inuit word for meeting place. It covered 11 acres. This thing was huge. The movie we saw once inside was spectacular. It was a 360 degree movie screen and uh, there were images of Mounties proudly sitting on their horses and, and seemed to ride right off the screen and straight through the audience. It was amazing. 3D like no other. Oh yeah, and I got another souvenir here <laughs> from 67. I got these uh, vacuum sealed mint set. Look at this. Special Canadian coins minted for that year with animals on each. We got, uh, well, we got a dove on the penny. I got a rabbit on the nickel. There's a cougar, it looks like, on the quarter. A fish on the dime. Oh, a 50 cent piece. You don't see those too often anymore. Uh, it's a howling wolf. And uh, Canada goose on the uh, silver dollar. Never been touched by human hands. Sweet. It's gotta be worth at least five bucks by now. <laughs> We're gonna make the great Canadian, eh? <laughs> okay, first thing we wanna do, we got some banana liqueur, and we're gonna use one ounce. Followed by <laughs> Galliano. You know how much I love this stuff. That's crazy. An ounce. And an ounce of cranberry juice. Throw some ice in there. I don't know. What is that? About six ounces of ice. Start to blend. What we want is a little slushy thing going on. Some grenadine. Got to make it red for that flag, you know. Now I used uh, cubed ice. You could use crushed ice too, and it's a little gentler on your uh, blades, but uh, my blender's kind of seen better days. Okay, let's grab our glass. I got this crazy sized frozen glass of mine here. And the reason it's so big is because Canada's so big. It's 9.985 million square kilometers or 3.854 million square miles. That's huge. That's like, that's like a 40 ounces sitting there. And we've got this 
wonderful banana slushy thing going on. Now you gotta work really, really fast when you make these. I'm gonna set it into my ice here so it keeps nice and cold. Okay, the next thing we wanna do is uh, grab our Cointreau. We want one ounce of Cointreau. That's our orange liqueur there. Followed by an ounce of chocolate vodka. This is double chocolate vodka, ooh, yeah. And we want one ounce. Looks good. Ah, oh, it smells delish. Chocolate orange, how could you go wrong? Followed by vanilla ice cream. Oh yeah. This part, you know, you don't need any ice because we got that vanilla ice cream going on. How much? Well, that looks like about almost a cup of vanilla ice cream there. It looks pretty good. Let's see what we get. Okay, then all we do is slap a lid on and give her a, a little pulse here. Need a little more power. It's coming. It's frozen ice cream. Okay, you know what? I think it needs a little more ice cream because I want it thicker. So I got some right here. Let's do that right now. Yeah. That's all I need. It's a look feel thing, you know? When I work at the bar, always a look feel thing. That looks awesome. Okay, we got our frozen little mixture here. Oh, look at that, ice clinging to the side. I'm gonna set that down. I got ice on the bottom. It's gonna slide all over the place. And what we wanna do now is we wanna take this wonderful ice cream mixture. And it's kind of it's kind of like uh, building a uh, a layered shooter. And we're just going to lay that on top. Okay. Sweet. Okay, again, we are going to uh, pop this in our ice because we want to keep this nice and cold. All right. Or you know, you can just take this and put it in the freezer to keep it, keep it nice and cold while you work on the next layer. And you know, well, it, it's kind of a hassle, but you got to clean your blender in between each layer or have three blenders. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> I'm going to clean my blender now. Oh, these stairs. Okay, we got a clean blender now, and we're ready for the third layer. We've got our old friend Luxusova. It's a cherry distillant, cherry brandy, if you will. Two, three, two ounces. Next thing I've got is our wonderful strawberry syrup. I mean. If you make strawberry syrup, use it. We're gonna use a whole ounce. Oh yeah. Next thing is uh, we need some ice again. Pop her up. Pretty much we're making a slushy again. A cherry slushy, yum. Okay, let's see what we get here. Slap a lid on here and start to blend. Get our grenadine. That looks like a nice color. A little more ice. There we go. Perfect. Okay, I'll be right back. I gotta go get my glass out of the freezer. All right, I got my glass. Yeah, baby. Now, we're just going to, again, use our little spoon here and layer that on top. Yum. Just gotta be real gentle when you do this so you don't collide all those flavors, you know? Yum, looking wonderful.
Canada. Boop, 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 boop. We love thee. Boop, 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 boop. Canada. Boop, 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 boop. Proud and free. North, south, east, west. Oh, there you go, man. Yeah, baby. <laughs> A celebration fit for Canada. This is awesome. Enjoy this. And you know, you can also make it in smaller glasses. Happy Canada Day, everyone. Celebrate Canada. Make yourself a drink. Relax. You deserve it. Cheers. It looks pretty good. Let's see what we get. Okay, here we go. Start her up, baby. <laughs> wow, that was a first. <laughs> okay. We uh, just uh, blew a fuse, so I gotta go turn that on. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Bruce here. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, be sure to like, maybe leave a comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>